that I also picked up. It says this. You shall put it before the veil that is before the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony where I will meet with you. Aaron shall burn on it sweet incense every morning when he tends the lambs. He shall burn incense on it. And when Aaron lights the lambs at twilight, he shall burn the incense on it. A perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. A perpetual incense. A perpetual smell. A perpetual aroma throughout generations. You shall not offer strange incense on it. Or a burnt offering or a grain offering, nor shall you pour a drink offering on it. And Aaron shall make atonement upon its horns once a year with the blood of the sin offering atonement. Once a year he shall make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy to the Lord. The golden altar. Is not about you. It is about the generation after you. I don't know how many of us have gotten to that point where they have stopped worrying about themselves. They have started laying foundation for the generation after them. This altar is not about my house. This altar is not about my marriage. This altar is not about my business. It is about the generation after me. Praise be to God. It is a generational altar. That is the reason why you don't come with an offering every day on it. But the light has to be on. It is not the offering. It is the incense. It is not the blood. It is the smell. In this altar, the game is different. And remember, the altar is before the mercy seat. This altar is connected to the ark of the covenant. It is for a generation that comes after you. It is for your children. It is for the children of your children. It is for the children of the children of your children. The fourth and the fifth generation. Do we know how to tend or how to serve the golden altar? Praise be to Jesus.